today. It's a picture, picture of my kids and it's out of okay. focus. Yeah, I love it. It's cute. And it has all these weird things. So I went to tape it on and it just was bubble. It wasn't good. But then I was like, let me sand it to so I sanded a little bit, gave it that old feeling. So that's one thing. Okay. I have, and I brought some, um, which, oh, let me say, got it here. I feel like with the, I feel like with that one, I like their, I like the, I like that, I like them, but I feel like that black background is going to be problematic. So maybe we can talk about that. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, then I also had this picture uh -huh. that I put these things like bubbles underneath, but I, I use them. Yeah, I love it. Do you? And I also put some glaze over it. Just yeah, some wax medium. Yeah, it looks great. Until I meet with you. I haven't done much here except a little bit of paint here. Yeah, I like it. So I have that, so I'll talk to you. And then there's this one. Uh -huh. I only put wax on it. I haven't done anything. Okay. And then I wonder, I was going to say, what if on some of the photos, I just put wax on it smoothly and just add a little something? I don't know what that would be. Yeah, like, a well, this is something that I've been trying to think about and work on is a little bit of a formula. So a formula to an artist is basically like um, steps, right? So it's like you got the photo, you glued the photo on the board, you've got the wax medium um, layer down. Then it looks like you're going to add like one or two stencils in a color. And then you're gonna put another layer of wax medium on and then and then what are you gonna do, right? Then you're gonna kind of fuse it all together, scrape it down, then maybe add another stencil. And then for me, I'm kind of done with the wax. Like there's only so much I can do with wax. Uh -huh. And then I really feel like I need to switch gears and use another medium. So the other medium that I like are the pigment sticks. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, I only try to go to a certain point with the wax and the textures, and then I switch gears and hand paint with the pigment stick. Yeah. I also use black and white photos. So you're still, you're using, oh, color, yeah. you're using color photos, which is fine. I don't have any problem with you using color photos, but then you're just narrowing down your possibilities of what colors you okay. can actually paint yeah. on. Okay. Well, um, that's a good thing to discuss because I often am like, should I do it in black and white or should I print it in color? So I do I'm everything in black and white. And the reason that I do it in black and white is then I can change my color palette and I can have more control. Also, if you think about traditional painting and painters, they do, if they do a sketch in the beginning of the painting, they're most likely gonna sketch it in pencil or charcoal on a white background. So that's a black and white drawing. And then they're gonna start adding color, right? Okay. So, they'll do, so they'll do the black. And that's why for me, I like to take my okay. photos, photographs. Yeah, I like to take my photographs yeah. to black yeah. and white. It also really helps me focus on composition and not, get too distracted with color because what happens yeah, with, with color is it's just like you're like it's overwhelming yeah it, it gets a little right it's a lot for the brain to process it's a lot to work on so uh -huh. you know you might make decisions about the composition based on the colors but if it was black and white you might it might be easier uh -huh. okay. to add textures or to control yes. sort of what what choices you make and how much, where you add them and how much you add and all that good stuff. And that becomes the art versus color where you don't really do to, yeah. Well, you just, you're limited on how much you can do to a color yeah. image because you already have so much of the image um, telling you what it wants. It's already kind of set, settled. It's, you know, it's, it's more defined. 
with the black and white, you're sort of, it's like a coloring book. You're opening up. So even like on a flower piece, on these things, you would still do black and white and then. Right, because then the other thing too is that because you're learning how to do this, mm -hmm. you really want the, the photo to okay. educate you on mm -hmm. lights and darks. Yes. Right? So, and even if you just start out, like, even for me, like I do best when I'm painting with the wax to maybe only paint in two colors at a time. So like, I've been looking at artists work um, like Rothko. So I've been looking at Mark Rothko's work and all he did for, he's a very famous painter in all the museums. And all he did was color studies where he would put two colors on top of each other, one on the half, one on the top half and one on the bottom half. And yet, because he used like lights and darks of the colors, they, there's so much more in the paintings than just two blocks. Like they really like vibrate and there's movement. And it's like your brain, your brain does things when it looks at art. It, and for artists, I think we need to be careful how much we're putting into the painting because you don't want to do so much that people can't respond to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's like you want to do just the right amount that in sort of triggers people's minds to, to want to engage with it and sort of fill in the blanks. Okay. So at least you wrote just... a story. It's as if you wrote a story and then you took a blackout marker and you blacked out like half of the words. Mm -hmm. You know, and then people could kind of like look at it and be like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, it could be like this. It can be like, you know, and I think that's sort of the beauty of the art is you don't want to over illustrate it. Okay. So for now, I'll just print only in black and white. I'd love for our next session. I think we should try to finish these pieces that you have today. And I think we should work on, I love the, I, I mean, I really like the flower one and I'm more than happy to help you paint the picture of your kids. Um, and did you feel like we finished the other one of your daughter with the flowers? No. Oh, which one? The bride one or the? Well, the bride one, I feel like we were pretty close to finishing. Yeah, I think it's pretty bad. And I've, yeah, this one for sure, I'm not finished. Okay. So we, I mean, that, that, of that one, this, that one is my, is my personal favorite of all the ones that you just showed me of everything we've done together. That's my favorite. Oh, okay. And should I, I reprint and start over again? No, I think, I think we should finish this one. And I think you should um, hang it up. I mean, the only thing that you could do differently if you were going to do it again, is you could do it without the split and the panels. Yes, yes. Because I think that was, I mean, I think it's a great idea. I love it, but I think it was challenging. Face, yeah. I mean, I still like it. When you hang it, you can hang them very close together. They'll be fine. Yeah, but I can see that with a split face, it's better if it's on one piece. So maybe I'll reprint this for next time. We can work on that one again with the, we can work on that one with the tacking iron. And then what I would ask you to do is look through magazines like Architectural Digest, um, Modern Home, National Geographic, look for some flo flowers or floral things or greenery that you might wanna add around her head so that we can use a combination of not only floral stencils, but we could also use some additional flower imagery in the piece. You mean like a printed? Magazine pictures. Oh. And they can be color. They can be definitely be color. Oh, I see. It could even be like your tissue paper. Like you have gift wrapping paper. You have things around okay. the house. Maybe yeah, I do. Some, you have na napkins. The flowers can be from anything. They can be from so anything. So you want it to have a texture rather than be well, part no, they're going to the be smooth. they're going to be smooth they're going to be in there mm. it's just going to be in other words not flower. photoshop other flowers in there no, no. You're not gonna photo layer. yeah that's what we're going to use that little crafting tool for i'm going to teach you how to okay. do it okay okay that sounds um, good yeah and i might Did have... i also put a layer of wax on it before we meet if you have time yeah okay yeah. all right so 
let's talk about um your wax is all melted you're ready to paint right yeah okay the new yeah, wax I, is melted oh, you had to remelt your pot i'm so sorry you spilled a pot that's so sad I'm, <laughs> i've done that too i've done it i've i've tripped on my pot i've done all kinds oh. of yeah these um you know the hot plates the things are awkward the yeah Oh yeah, the cords are awkward. I know the way they stick out of the back. I know. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I do have some melted. I didn't want to pour a lot and not have it be ready. Mm -hmm. But okay, so I have these two. And then you tell me which one. The other one was this one. Oh yeah, I like that one too. With the Yeah, I love that one with the ice. I love that one. Okay, so this was a little, I kind of went over the overboards so i scraped some of the paintings i did with it so whichever one you think i'll let you choose there's i guess four um well let's finish up two let's do the ice one and the one of your daughter with the flowers let's start with those two. Oh, because so I do it anyways even though i'm gonna print a new one yeah let's finish the ones you have i mean it doesn't oh. yeah Absolutely. I think we should finish it. I mean, I don't, I think you've put a lot of work into it. I wouldn't walk away until it was done. Oh, okay. I think it's beautiful. Okay, so I'll show you what's, it's kind of weird and. I think the flowers look great. And so we already, did we already paint it with the pigment sticks a little bit? How can you tell? Because it's oily if it's pigment yeah. stick. Well, you could just tell because it's on the top and it's not. I think we painted it with the pigment sticks. Yeah, I think, I think we maybe did. pigment stick. I think yeah. the, this is, yes. Okay, let yes, me see the is. other. Let me see the other panel for a second. The other one looks like a mess. <laughs> uh, wait, take, take it back a little. No, it's not. It's not. It's good. Okay, so I think what we need to do is fix that purple area up at the top. And we talked about that, right? So what we're gonna do is it? I can't tell. Is it is it bumpy? Is it raised up or is it? Not too bad. Not really. Okay. okay. This so what one I is bumpy? Not the not this. What color? What color is your daughter's hair? Um, hair brown. Yeah, dark brown. Okay. So do you have dark brown? Yes, pigment stick or pigment stick. Yeah. I think we should just paint our hair. And what I want you to do is I just want you to go over it. But um, are there any other areas of the of the encaustic wax piece that are like the texture is undesirable? Like you don't like the texture? Yeah, I think, or maybe when it's finished, I'll like it more. But right now it's pretty rough. Okay. So that, that is the perfect example or spot right there where the crafting iron is going to just come in and I it's going to be, it's going to be like your magic wand. Okay. Amazing. So just consider it. Yeah. Let's just consider it your magic wand. So I think what we should do is just leave that till next week when you, or whenever we okay. schedule, I think we already have, I think we already have an appointment next week. We do. Okay. So we next, have it for Wednesday, I think. Okay, so look, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some notes on our meeting, and a few things that we already talked about, just so that we're on the same page. One uh -huh. thing is, I want you to print from now on in black and white. Yes, and I just want you to try it. And listen, I can teach you something, and you can say, "Okay, Leah, I tried it, but I don't like it." Right. And you can go back to color. I mean, I just want you to try it. I think it's going to free you up a little bit. And I think you're going to. Okay, I get it. that. Yeah. And also I think what it is, I'm afraid of not being able to put the color on top of black and white in a nice way. Well, um, let me give you one little tip. And that's light, like lighten the pictures up a little bit. Lighten that photograph. Lighten the photograph up a little bit. So go into what do you use for um, uh, what do you use for an uh, editing app? What do you do? You I use, use both Lightroom and Photoshop. Okay, 
So make the image a little bit lighter than you would normally print it. Okay. Okay. Because okay. black is just challenging. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So go a little bit lighter and not in contrast. You don't want it more contrasty. You actually just want to open up the exposure like one to two steps above normal. So okay. one to two brighter, brighter than normal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to go to black and white next week. Uh -huh. And um, you're also going to buy the tacking iron. Yes. Okay. And we're all, you're also going to, your homework is also to, you have a lot of homework and your homework is also to look into magazines and maybe cut out some either, anything that appeals to you and all the like birds, butterflies, cats and dogs, flowers, um, any type of garland. I mean, small. Uh, well, I have those coloring books, adult coloring books. Uh -huh. Just made me think of that. But those are just line art, you know, they're not. I, I don't think you want line art. I think you yeah. want like, you want something. Like, sure. Yeah, more beautiful. Like just yeah. something really pretty. Okay. Look at those, Matt, like look at Vogue or Vanity Fair or um, Architectural Digest or Home. You know, I'm sure you, you're a, you're an artist and I'm sure you have, a. do you have a lot of magazines? I gave all of it away. Uh, get it back. Get it back. Get I know. Go get it back. Yeah. I mean, maybe my daughter has some. I'll ask her, but I don't. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Well, anyway, but see what you like buy. you said, the gift wrap paper. And well, like, even if you go to the grocery store, you know, look look at the grocery store and yeah. see, just grab a magazine and then just go through one magazine and cut out things that it can, you know, sometimes even um, I have been collaging a lot in the last two weeks, but something sometimes for magazines, like I just like the colors that they use in the design, like Tiffany's uses that really nice light blue. So what uh -huh. I'll do is I'll go into the magazine and I'll just cut out a circle like uh -huh. a circle and then I that or I could make a uh -huh. bunch of circles and they could be like polka dots. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. That's so it's like just another way to think about mm -hmm. decoration and collage work. Um okay. Okay. So okay. All right. So you have three things. You're gonna black and white your images and they're gonna uh -huh. be light on the light side. Uh-huh. Right? The tacking yes. iron and some magazine cutouts. Uh-huh. And don't think too much about it. I want to see what you pick. I'm curious. Oh, yeah. I'm curious what you're drawn to. So just do it like you're, just do it intuitively. Just be like, oh, okay. No. okay. I like this and I'm, okay. Okay, yeah, I like this and I'm gonna cut it out. And even if you don't cut it all the way, just tear, tear it out and make a pile. Okay. Okay, Let's same thing, that. like, same thing. Like I often will shop for stencils. I mean, and I just recently bought a bunch of stencils um you know based on images that I was like Drawn attracted to. to yeah and sometimes I'll just go through them and be like oh I like that one like I like that one it's like and then I'll have to try it you don't know if it's going to work for you but sometimes just that initial like oh I like that right okay so let's work on this piece I wanted you to try to paint our hair so we'll do you have um masking the masking tape Yes. Grab your masking tape. And this has been really helpful for me. I teach a couple other classes during the week. And this is really helpful for me to teach with as I take the masking tape and I put it on an area that needs a certain type of attention. So for example, like that whole lower, no, the other, let's do the other panel first. Yep. That one, that whole lower right-hand corner, that all needs to get smoothed out. Right. So oh, we said we're going to do the iron, right? Yeah, we are. But you could take a piece of masking tape and just put it over that area and kind of forget about it. Oh, I see to forget it. OK. And just write on it. We're going to use the iron. You could write on the masking tape with a Sharpie. Just say iron. Iron. Yes. OK. And that way, you know that you've made a decision on how you're going to handle that area. Do that. Yeah. 
Um, okay. I look at my floor. I'm still shocked what I did. Oh my God. So wait, you're gonna have to, did you try scraping it off? No. You're just gonna have to get a paint scraper. And just, I mean, hopefully I won't damage the floor, but. No, use your heat gun. Oh, you think? Absolutely. Just loosen it up a little bit. Absolutely, and... don't try to scrape it off hard. Use your heat gun, oh, soften okay. it, and then just scrape it off with okay. a plastic. Do you have a plastic scraper? Um, yes. So don't, I yeah, only use the plastic scraper on the floor. Don't use a razor blade. Don't use anything that will scratch the floor. Right. Just use a plastic scraper. And it's a huge amount of wax. I guess I can reuse that, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So it might have a little bit of dirt in it, but you can just stick it in a pot. Yeah. Yeah. In a dirty pot, like a... Yeah, just stick it in a pot. And what happens, it's kind of interesting. What happens is that the dirt actually goes to the bottom of the pot. Oh, okay, when it melts. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you can just, you can switch the pots and let, and then dump the dirt out. Okay, yeah. I'm putting tape on another part too that I think... Any, yeah, any part that you think is too bumpy. Yeah. Let's just let's just eliminate bumpy parts right now. So any part that's too bumpy, put tape on work. it. Yeah, we're not gonna work on it. We're gonna ignore it. We're gonna fix it next week when we have the right yeah. tool. But I think you're gonna really I'm so glad I was like driving home and I was like I was like thinking about our meeting and I was like, yes. And I, I don't the, the tools come up for me a couple other times this week and I'm like, yep, yeah. we need it. Yeah, that sounds really good. Sounds and like I a actually dream. yeah. Okay, um, so we want to work on her hair, right? Yep, so we're going to paint her hair kind of brown. So what I would do is I would get a brown, the brown pigment stick, and then I would also get your extender, your jar of extender, and I would also get a graphite, you have graphite gray, right? I'm sorry? Graphite gray. Oh, you're talking about the glaze, right? Pigment sticks, oily sticks. I have brown. It says pink brown. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. okay, so I'll get a paper for that. It's like an ugly brown. Should I add black? Oh, I, no, it? don't say that. I like that brown. Oh. <laughs> I like that brown. All right, so add, you can add, yeah, I like that brown. Okay. So you can add um, neutral white to it. So add a lighter color. Remember, we always add a lighter color and a darker color. So you can add new, natural white or neutral white, and then you can also add um, graphite gray. Okay. Okay, and then you can use, yep, and a little bit of an extender, perfect. So when you look at the, so this image is black and white and you did a great job with this. So look at the photograph and look at her hair. What I want you to do is I want you to simulate where it's black or darker gray in the picture, you're gonna use a darker color. So you're gonna mix wherever it's dark, you're gonna use brown and gray together. And then wherever it's lighter gray, you're gonna use a little bit of the brown and white. Okay, now, except in her hair, I used, that's not the photograph, I used already lighter color. 
That's okay. Right? Ignore that or just accent it. You're just going to accent it with brown. The lighter. Okay. Yeah. So wherever it's darker, so follow the line of the hair. It's like kind of like curly, and you're going to add brownie gray around her face. So it's going to be. I would make it like darker toward closer to her face and then lighter as you move away. Oh, well, her face, there are flowers here. Should I still put? Just no, skip the flowers, but you're going to try to create the line of her face and the flowers are going to be coming forward. I'm sorry. Do, I was doing here. Do you mean here? Well, technically that can, this whole space right here should be dark gray, no brown, brown, but that's her hair. Like, if I'm sitting here like this, her hair is coming down behind her ear. So it's technically still her hair. Okay. So, so should I do a little gray, the gray with a little bit of brown in it? Yes. Okay. And you want her face to pop forward. So in order to get it to pop forward, you're going to put a darker color right up next to it. Okay. I don't know that you could see. I can see what you're doing. You can, you can do it for a little while and then show me. That's fine. That's okay. I can see what you're doing. All right, so remember to put it on and then get a paper towel and rub it in. and go up all the way up to that other purple flower. That's a lot of brown, but. That's okay, you're gonna rub it back with the paper towel okay. and blend it in so that it looks natural. Like at first it does feel like you probably put on too much paint, but then you're gonna blend it. Okay. And I would put it right, right underneath that other flower. Yeah, wherever her face, wherever her skin is not showing. I didn't mix any white to it, but. Well, we can do that last. You always have to do the light colors last or else they'll just get blended out anyway. Okay. If you put too much, if you put light colors in in the beginning, they just get covered over with something else. Okay. Well, the days are getting longer. It's not. Yeah. Days... How is the weather in your area now? It's finally better. Finally dealable. Yeah. It's been so cold. It's finally nice. Well, I mean, spring is like next week, so. I know, we've got little daffodils coming up and little crocuses, oh. it's so cute. Now look at, that looks so much better because it's kind of like, yeah, great. It looks great. So, yep, perfect, it's beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful. So. Now you need, now everything kind of just went, oh, like that little vibe, like like that nice bell sound. So the yeah. flowers pop forward, her face has a shape now. It's like, everything is good, Okay. Right? So and it's not too brown, like a- No, it can't be too brown, but you wanna be able to make it translucent in a couple areas. So go ahead. And also we wanna cover up that purple flower at the top. So you wanna put gray or brown right over it. We don't need, we just want to focus on that nice peachy flower. We want to forget that we ever put another flower up there. Let's see. Okay. It's okay. hard to cover that flower. Well, it's okay, but kind of like if it's sort of like suggest we just don't want to don't want it to take away take all our attention okay so now yep that looks great perfect beautiful really beautiful so now what we want to do is take the paper towel and we want to put just a little bit of extender on the tip of the paper towel and just rub it gently over what you just did yep and then maybe like a circular yeah yep just rub it over what you just did and then do that until you feel like it looks pretty. Like, so what you want to see for me is I want to see the color of the pigment stick, but I also want to see the wax. I don't want to feel like 
Uh -huh. One is dominated. Oh, yeah. I don't want to feel like one is dominated the other. I want to feel like they're mixed together nicely. Uh -huh. But did I rub off too much? No, I think it looks beautiful. I think it looks beautiful. The lighting I see on my thing doesn't look okay. No, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. So um, let's do the other side. This side. Yep. So you have hair at the top, at the top of both. Yep. And you have hair that kind of goes in. Yep. Yep. Okay. And on this side, it doesn't really go out. It goes down, which is, I think, nice. So use the same paint colors you just used. And where you ever you see it in the photo. The other thing that's really important and I think helpful about painting black and white images is they give you sort of cues on where the lights and darks are. Uh huh. Right. So it's like getting little little helping helper hints. It's right? easier to tell. Yeah. Yeah. Easier to tell. So you just listen where it's dark or black in the photo, you're gonna add a dark color or black or gray or dark blue or dark purple. And where it's light, you're gonna add a light color, right? Okay. And anywhere that's white can go any color that you want, right? So that's the fun part too, like in the coloring book. That's, I see, yeah. That's, but this is like a dark color, but I should Yeah, but that's a flower, same. that's a yeah, leaf. That's so that needs again. to get painted green. So we'll do that next. Anything that's black but not hair is going to get painted green, right? Okay, yes. Okay, so no, you're doing great. Perfect. Okay. And this one's really looking nice. It's coming together. Okay, so now um, I wonder, this is a flower, right? I think it's a leaf. I'm going to say it's a leaf. Okay. But you you could make it a flower, but I think it looks more like I think it should just be green. Okay. I think it's leafy. I don't think it's floral. So you want me to do green? Did you, you finish all the hair? I think so. Okay, it looks like she's a lot more hair on the other side. On the and other side. Like yeah, yeah, put the two pieces together. It looks like the other side is a little bit oh, a little bit more. Oh no, it looks good together. I would put a little bit more paint down along her neck and add it. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Just a little bit more brown or brown gray or. I didn't rub off like I rubbed off the other. Oh, you didn't blend? Okay, so do the same thing. Yeah, blend with the... I feel like if I do that, the whole thing's going to get washed out, no? No, because the thing is, is that it's like, it's about sort of addition and subtraction. So if you rub it in and rub it off, you can always do what? Add more. I put more, yeah. Right, but you don't know. It's kind of like you have to hit that sweet spot. And yeah, a lot of times you, you just to. don't know where it is exactly. So you have to just keep trying. Yeah, I have to put more so it went away. Yeah. Yep. I would put more brown in there. I want I want to see like brown. In her hair. Now, once I've done something like that with brown, I tend to want to put the brown somewhere else in the composition. Okay. And I also don't like to waste my paint. So if I have a lot of brown on my paper, I yes. want to put it on my piece. So why don't you go ahead and take the brown gray that you made and put it into any of the leafy things on the darkest side of the leaf. So it's, for example, yeah. Like here. Yep, anywhere, yep, anywhere. And then we're going to add green, but you're going to add brown and gray to the green also. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So it's like here. Yep, anywhere, yep. And up there, up there like right next to this flower too, like up here at the top, that pinky flower where it's gray. Yeah, where it's- Oh, gray. this one? Yeah, and to the left a little bit. Here. Nope, up, over. There's a circle right here. Here? Yeah, there. 
Yep, so put some brown gray. And then the same thing on the other side. Use up all your brown gray that you have. So I like tend to rub it off with my other finger. <laughs> oh, rub it in, rub it off. Well, it just takes practice. You're fine. You got it. So I add it. Yep, that's nice. Good. I would add a little bit at the very top. Do you see where it's slightly? Yep, right there. Whatever that is. Yep. Perfect. Or maybe a little bit of the gray. Oops. Okay, so now let's go. Um, let's go to the green. Okay. Let's go to the green green. So pick a green that you like. And just and maybe you have a couple green. too bright for me. I don't know. Yeah, mix them together then. Yeah, I actually like that light green. Um oh, mix the nice. green, put them side by side and mix them together. And you could add gray to them or a white to them or brown to them. Okay. Yep. And now you're going to put, put whatever the middle color is, you're going to put it in most of the leaves. Okay. I'm not making any shapes. I'm just. That's fine. Well, you can. Yeah, that looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. You're just suggesting the listen, the photograph is already th still there, right? So you're okay. kind of like, you're just sort of hand coloring um, and adding this sort of fantasy element to a pre existing photograph. So, right. So you don't have to be too pressured to paint too seriously. You know what I mean? You're just you're just yeah. suggesting that there's color in these shapes and the leaves and things. So anywhere I'm you using a little more green on this other side. Okay. Anywhere that you see green. Um, anywhere too, even compositionally, like so. If you wanted to even add a leaf or something where there isn't one, you could also do that. Right? So it doesn't all it doesn't have to be literal. Right. There could That's be green. Really there could be green wherever you think that you want there to be green, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that looks nice. I don't know that you can, can you see? Okay. Yeah, that looks really nice. So it's just a little. Yeah. Okay. And here it became maybe too serious, this green. Yeah, so maybe maybe you need to put green up and above that to the right a little bit, whatever that other gray thing is. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you can blend that back with the paper towel. Nice. So it's just um yeah, and I like it. Green. Yeah, but I would add a little bit of that um lighter color. That neon lighter green. green. Add a little, yeah, add a little bit of that to that leaf. Because again, like that green actually represents like sunlight or light. So you know, pop it in there somewhere. Okay. Okay. Should I have any more of this green anywhere else? 
Um, I can't tell if there are no, so hard. I can see. No, no, no. I can't tell if there's what's around her neck. Is that a necklace? Yes. Okay. So let's pick another color for the necklace, not green. Okay. You can make the necklace green. You can make it neon green. What color do you think you want it to be? Actually, it was turquoise. Oh, well, then do you have a blue that you can mix into that? If you mix a blue into that fluorescent green, you'll have a nice turquoise. Okay. And then you could hand paint that necklace. That's and then right. and then I think we we can um we just need to think about the flowers if they have enough paint on them. Yeah. Okay, so with the necklace. Oh, it's not. I'm messing it up. Went more to a green. You can't mess it up. You can always shift the color. Yeah, I know. That's what I figure. I'm not, I'm just. So. I think I ov went over her hair. What? No, I love it. With the blue? No, I think it looks fine. Okay. I don't really see that blue that much, though. No, it's bit, uh, let me put a little more. You don't see the blue that much. I mean, maybe you're rubbing it in too much. It needs to kind of I think, yeah. Just let it sit on top. Yeah. Or you can actually just put the you can rub the stick right on it. You can I mixed it. Okay. So okay. So I won't rub it off yet but maybe I need to put back some of her hair. Possibly, yeah, maybe you need to make it darker around there, so it pops yeah. up. Okay. Um. So I think it looks really beautiful. Two questions that I need to ask now is, yes. do you want the background color to be white. I think that you have so much movement and sort of things happening. I don't think the white space should be a color, but mm -hmm. it could be a very, very pale, you know, pink or light blue or gray, or it can be white. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's looking really good. I'm surprised that it is actually. Well, the thing is, is that, okay, so what happens for me, and I think this is happening for you right now, is that you get so hypersensitive about the way the wax looks. Yeah. You, but once you start painting it with the pigment sticks, it's sort of like it all it comes everything down. Yeah. It, just, it just brings back the beauty of the original photo and you're able to sort of smooth out a lot of those yes. awkward lines. Yes. So, you know, it just has a totally different. Yeah, you know, I see. Right? Yeah, I see that here and here we need to do something. Right. I love that peachy. I like the lavender. I feel like there's a nice like light purple lavender. This one. Yeah, I like that color. So I feel like I want that on the left side. Somewhere over there Maybe yeah. here. Yeah, maybe there or maybe close to her face, maybe here. Dark. Yeah. And that one, that flower, I think should be on the darker side. This one. Yeah, because the other two are so it's light. Side. Okay. Yeah. So maybe it's just like a darker red or darker purple. I, I would make it yeah. darker. Yeah. Okay. But I think it's looking really beautiful. I think it's looking much better. Thank you. Yeah, I'm telling you. The pigment sticks really like pull it all together. Yeah. 
Oh, where did I get that lavender? Well, you made it with the, you made it with, um, uh, you made it with the encaustic paint. So you might not have it in pigment sticks, but if you do have a, do you have a red? I do. And you can put red and blue together. Okay. And a little white maybe. Yeah. Okay. Is that purple? Um, a little bit, depending on. <laughs> Do you like the color though? It's not bright like that one was. That's okay. I don't want it to. Be, I don't want it to be as bright as that one. Yeah, I do like the color because it has some red and it has. But I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm just trying to cover. I'll show you in a second. Okay. Well, if you want to lighten it, you can add a little. Just show, yeah, you don't have to show me both. So things. it's. Yeah, there. that's pretty. Okay, that's pretty. So you need to put something in the center of the flower. So you could use just the red in the center, or you could use um, just the red or just the brown pink in the center, just the center. Yep. And then, yep, that's fine. I like that. Yeah. I like it. I like it subtle. I like it sort of blending in with her hair. Kind of see through. Yeah, I think that's a good, good choice. All right. So oh, technically you're a genius knowing what could be done to this. No, wasted thing okay no it's beautiful so i think now we have to deal with the upper left hand corner i'm not worried about that thing no no just let that be there that's fine i'm not worried about it just oh really yeah it's it's just it's kind of like its own little flower if you want to put a little bit of that red color on there it looks like a flower sort of lost in her hair or in a shadow it doesn't matter you can put some red on there okay Okay. And then you want me to put lavender on this side, you were thinking? I think so, yeah. Okay, over here somewhere. Yeah, and I think that, that you have another leaf right there. I think that there's another leaf coming down the top. This? No, the gray thing. This? Yeah, that is a leaf. Okay. So that needs to be the greeny, the green colors. Okay. Okay, now purple. Um, maybe just some purple shadows. Yeah, I think you should work on that flower there. This the one? Pink. Yeah, that flower needs a lot of work. So it needs some reds and some pinks or some it okay. needs something or some purples it needs to be painted it needs a center so maybe some yellow no um we don't really have a lot of yellow in here if you're going to do yellow make, make it more of an orangey yellow I wouldn't Orange just, yellow. yeah, I wouldn't just, cause you don't really have a lot of yellow in the piece, Okay. but you can start, if you add it, if you add it, you have to add it other places too. That's the only problem. Okay. I made it like a peach. So this, now I just put a center. Yep. Put a, yep. Put a dark Is it center. funny that they all have a red center or should I? You could have a yellow center. Uh, you could have a more yellow center. Okay. And maybe a little bit of red in there too. I don't know, tiny. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. Okay, then stop. Okay. I think things are coming along really nicely. I agree. I think it's beautiful. Okay. I think it's really it got, beautiful. like depth to it. 
no well right that's right that's what the that's what the pigment sticks do, does is it really pulls it all together i mean i i look at my wax pieces without pigment sticks and i just am like okay they're it's boring flat, yeah. they're flat i'm frustrated with them they don't have any but then once you add the pigment sticks it's sort of like the magic sauce yeah yeah you're right and then so, this guy has some things around it yeah you need to paint that whole thing and i still think you can put more green on that panel like all of those light gray areas they're uh -huh. either flowers or leaves so they need something in them well this white one is a flower no i understand but underneath that you still and look you need to paint this flower over here there's a flower right by her ear that needs this to one. nope hi this one this one yeah you have to paint that one and yeah. all of those little gray things i think they should just be very light green yeah. as if okay. they're like far like so think about when you're looking outside and the sun is backlighting like a lot of the leaves, like there's light kind of, you know, that backlight. Kind of through. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't really see exactly what it is, but you get the sense that there's light there and plants there, Gar garden environment. Yeah. So just, so leaves slash light. Yeah. Okay, I think. Okay, you can work on that flower now. Okay, now for that flower. Maybe it needs some ye yellow. If you want to introduce like a yellowy orange. Okay, the only, th are we going to get rid of this color? Because this is the no, only. No, I love that color. So is it too much to have it here? Um, I would leave that one that light peachy color. I, I wouldn't change that one because you did it with the wax. I would just make it. You could make it like a key line. You could make it like light green and orange is pretty. Oh, I just yeah okay. You understand, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just. No, you do, you're doing a good job. You just gotta go with your intuitive. There's no right and wrong to this. And then you can hand paint that white flower. I mean, I think it's too white and it's all the way over there by itself. So technically, even if it's white, it's gonna have some colors in it that are gonna bounce around it. So it could be like light green or, you know, peach or something. It's gonna reflect and that looks really pretty. So yep, perfect. It's beautiful. And then maybe from here. Okay. No. And if you want to make it a little bit more poppy or contrasty, you have to put a dark color inside the center and maybe something dark uh outside around the outside. Okay. I put a kind of a brownish in the inside. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's nice. Um, and maybe some dark green or brown, maybe the dark, a dark green. Just randomly anywhere or on the flower? No, around the outside of the flower as if like there are leaves behind it. So it's just indication. So I shouldn't like immediately freak out. I don't know how to draw a leaf or... Well, you do know how to draw a leaf. And this is sort of one of the things about cutting out flowers and practicing with the flowers. A leaf is really just a teardrop shape, right? So it's like a, an oval. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks really you see? good. Oh, okay. Yeah, that looks really good. The only thing that I'm still not sure about is this. This should be more of a leaf. This should have more green in it. This should have more. Green. No, that just that one dark circle between the peach flower and the white flower. This dark circle. This one. Well, that one and this one. There's two of them. This. Nope, nope down. The peach flower to the right of the peach flower. Yeah, that and the one up there should both have more green in them. Okay. But the other white, the other flower looks good. Okay.
think they should just have more green in them. Is yeah. it an okay green or should it be? Yeah, dark? pop a little bit of that lighter green in there. Oh, it does have a lot of light green. Put a little white okay. in it then, or a little bit of yellow. Yeah. Something, just something to give it a little bit of a highlight. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm pretending yeah. I know. No, you're doing great. You're really doing great. So, and I think that this might be a good place to just stop with this one for now. So put it together. Okay. I'm really happy with it. Are you happy with it? I'm oh, wait. much happy. Oh, good. The only one you didn't paint though, you didn't work on that purple flower. Right. Yeah, that was really beautiful. I mean, it's I, I've always really liked that piece and I think it looks great. Oh, I just don't have that same color. So maybe add some. Well, maybe you need to buy a color. So add it to your list of things you need to buy is you need to buy some purple, lavender or purple pigment stick. If you buy a dark, the thing about when you buy pigment sticks is if you buy a dark color, uh -huh. you can always make it lighter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So technically all the light colors are just made from mixtures of the dark colors with white or yellow or other colors. Uh -huh. Okay, so I feel so much better about this. Okay, but right, but so now you just made a really nice breakthrough on the process, right? So- I did. Right, and if you wanted to, you could put a little bit of color on her lips. Oh, really? Yeah, why not give her like some little red, put a little red or peach or something. Why not make her beautiful and just a little on her bottom lip. I mean, it doesn't have to be a lot, but it's just gonna like brighten up her face. Looks like a sepia. That's nice. A sepia color. Pretty. Yeah. Is that beautiful. Too much? Oh my God. No, it's beautiful. No, it's beautiful. I okay. think it's really beautiful. Let's quit on that one. I'm so happy with it. And I think that you can take the tape off. I mean, we know what we need to do. Yeah. You can take the tape off so you can just enjoy the piece, or you can leave the tape on until next time. That's fine. Either way. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Great. So let's put that Thank aside. You. Okay, great. Awesome. Super. What's your next subject? So let's do, let's work on the ice one because I don't think, I think we can handle the ice one. So, so. Well, all these three are ice. Which one do you want? That one, the one on top, that one. one. Yeah. Yeah. So do you feel like you have enough wax on it? Um, some there of it has been scraped off, but. Okay, so add wax medium where you feel like it's not waxy enough. Okay. Yeah, I have to be careful. I don't knock this down again. Okay. Yes, be careful. Don't trip over your... I know. Should have done a smaller brush. Okay. Okay, then I, and then you have to fuse it. So yeah. So just take a minute and fuse it. Maybe a little. Apparently, these hot plates take a lot of. They do. They draw a lot of power. A lot of power. Well, it's actually the heat gun. It's the heat guns. The heat guns draw more, but it's the combination of the two. You can blow a fuse. Right? Yeah. I mean, I didn't figure it out. He kept saying, 
when what is the pattern that everything goes up? Yeah. And then we figured out it was every time I started to heat up my wax. Yeah, the internet went out. Yeah. So now with this, that's why I printed this, because that's what there is. You can't. Yeah. So no, yeah, but you're gonna read. But now, once your wax is done, you're gonna paint it with the pigment sticks, and it's gonna look gorgeous. Oh, okay. Okay. So what you're gonna do is, I would put white. I mean, we can do the white last. Let's start. You can start with the dark area. So just do the exact same colors you just used. And you're gonna start with the, anything that had, looks leafy or green, you're gonna paint it like a leaf. Anything there, there's green. Okay. So start with your darker colors first. If there's anything too that looks like a stalk or a stem that you wanna paint brown, you can do that also. Well, the stem is all green too. Okay. But it's nice to put brown. Brown can be like the shadow okay. color. Brown and gray, that nice, Brown, pink, and that graphite gray together can be the shadow color. Okay. Right? Okay. I have too much. Oh, it's one more branch here, I think. Oh, yeah. Aww. is that your doggy? No. Oh, that <laughs> was the panel. It sounds like a dog bark. Oh, it sounds like a dog barking. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to have the, especially when you start flipping the color, the pictures into black and white. If you want to stay, remember the colors that were in the photo. It's nice to have a copy of it. Yeah, a copy of it. So I put all the green on. Yeah, yeah, that looks great. Green okay. and brown. Okay, so now let's go to your orangey colors, your orangey red colors, and put it where the flowers are. So just paint the flowers. It looks better already. Do you need to blend those in at all, or blend those off? Well, I feel like it may go away. Okay. Well, then don't. If you like, if you're happy with it, I think it looks great. If you're, I'm fine with it. Maybe just pat it. Okay. Okay. Now, the flowers, I can pretend, but I can do this. Okay. What color is that one? Orange? Purple. Yeah, it's like a deep pink. It's like a radish. But... Okay. And so. So, you're, so you're a red. And remember, you don't have to be, you can make flowers any color you want. I mean, this is sort of where you can, you don't have to follow the photo exactly. Okay. 
So I have those there. Oh, that's nice. I think the same one is here. Okay. It looks like it's a little bit darker down there though. But... Okay. And yet darker here. Okay, then I think maybe some of these were um, wax. I don't think it's pigment stick. Okay, but you can still add pigment stick to them. You can make them bigger or you can add highlights to them or shadows. Um, if you're happy with all the flowers, you can just start. I think you need to make the background gradient the background. So, okay. I would add white all along the left side. Yep. Yeah. And that, yep. And because it looks like that, because you want the surface to look like it's um, different shades of, you know, there's different colors in the ice. So, you want that side, I think, to be a little bit lighter. And then the middle to be a little bit yellow, and then the side to be a little bit gray. If I if I'm reading the photo correctly, do you have the photo yeah. there? Yeah. So it's white, yeah, yellow, and then gray. So that. Oh yeah, you're right. So, so white on the left, a little bit of yellow in the middle, and again, you're going to use your extenders. Did I get rid of this? No, leave it. It's fine. Okay. A little bit of white. Okay. And then you'll use your extender stick to blend it in and your paper towel. Okay. Hmm. I'll need another sheet. Just with my fingers, like kind of. Yeah, I usually put it on with my fingers or I just put the stick directly on the panel and then I blend it with the paper towel. Okay. So it's. Yep, that looks great. So what that's doing is it's just kind of making. Um, and more painterly and it's kind of suggesting like the light coming from one side i think that looks right. really nice but then i would transition to a little bit of a yellow and after you put it on with your finger you can you know again use a little extender stick and blend it in with the Oh, it's not dark enough. Well, maybe it has too much white in it. Did you mix the yellow and the white together? Yeah. I can use, I think you can use straight yellow. I don't think you got your yellow sticker. You can use, use straight yellow. Yeah. You don't need to pastel it. Yeah. There you go. Because it's, there's a difference between like lightening it with white and then lightening it by, with extender. Right, the white is going to make it pastel y, and um, but the extender will just make it thinner. Uh -huh. Okay, so just kind of keep going in this whole area. Yeah, I think it's about two, two or three inches wider. I think that whole is, and then, yep, 
add it and then blend it. Yeah. Yeah, that looks so nice. Yep. Beautiful. And like with a piece like this, it's already so abstract. You can that's be it. as a, you can be as abstract as you want. I mean, there's no, you know, nobody's gonna be, it's floral, nobody's gonna be like criticized. You know, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Whatever you do here in this situation is gonna be beautiful because it's just so loose and abstract already, you know. Okay. Good. Okay, and then a little bit, um, maybe a little bit of something. Yeah, so maybe just a little bit of graphite gray coming from that right corner, just along that right side. Yeah, and blend it in towards. And how do you feel that this is like white and it's yellow and gray? Is there a way I can? You can put a little bit of white in the yellow, but I think in the photo, they're pretty separate categories. Do the gray first and let's see what it looks like. Okay. Do the last one and then work backwards from there. I think you'll be, it's better. Oh, I know I saw that, oh my God, I know. Oh my God, it's, look, my, look, oh. our, look, it's like our first thing. Oh, wow. so pretty. Look how cute. It's like so tiny, pretty. it's just like tiny little baby. Signs of life. I know, <laughs> so cute. Do you should press it? We could press it in the book. Mm -hmm. I think too dark, right? Yeah, and I wouldn't have gone that high. So, but you can blend it out. I mean, just. Just use your paper towel and take it back. Okay. So. <laughs> Leon's eating it. Always oh, trying to eat it. Why are you not eating my flour? All right, so yeah, you definitely have to blend the gray back because that's too dark. Yep, yeah, get the little, no, use the extend, put a little bit of the extender stick on the paper towel and go in a circle, put it on the paper towel, yeah. And then go in a circle. So right, so what happened now is that the pigment stick actually got a little bit too muddy. So go ahead and wipe, wipe down the yellow, rub in the yellow a little bit. And then I want you to grab, um, go ahead, go ahead. Rub this? Grab, yeah, rub the yellow in. Yeah, remove a little bit, it's too, too yellow. Too, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then rub the white the white down too. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so now what I want you to do is grab a razor blade. Or a scraping tool and then just gently scrape up some of the So the thing about ice right is like is the texture is uneven. So the wax is also possibly uneven, but now what the um, pigment stick did is it made it look too flat, right? So mm -hmm. you want to add the dimension back into it. So scrape it gently with the razor blade. Which part? 
all, all of it, every part, the white part, just scrape it just very gently. And just, like, yep. And what's gonna happen is the top layer is gonna lift up and you're gonna see through to the, to the wax again. It's just gonna break it up. It's gonna look more natural. Okay. What do you think? Do you like the way it looks? Yeah. Okay, so just do it a little bit. It's just going to break it. It needs more detail a little bit. All right, well, let's see what that looks like. Let's see if the three colors kind of, they, they just, sometimes there's just this fine, oh yeah, that looks so much better. So they were, yep, that looks much more organic and natural, mm -hmm. um, you know, than when you first put it on. So yeah, you could go. I this think, needs to have, something needs to happen to that and to this, no? Well, you could cover it up with white. I mean, you could just lighten it. The one on the left, you can put just white encaustic or pigment stick on it. Yeah, white on top of there. Okay. The one on the right too, you could add a little white over there. Okay. With a little extender. Yeah, it doesn't want to cut. Okay, here we go. You can just literally like drop the white in there. Okay, is that better? Yes, it's better. Yeah, and then, yep, nice. That's good, I mean, don't go crazy on the other side, oh. I, yeah. It didn't have an extender with the right side. I should have. Well, the extender is going to make it translucent. So if you want it to be opaque, don't use. Oh, but it was so strong that. Okay, that's nice. Don't do any more. That's good. Don't do any more. It's good. Okay, so now I feel like if you want to pop the flowers again, you could kind of put a little bit of color, you know, stronger color in the flowers, but I think it looks pretty good. Do you want to live with it? What do you feel like you want to do? Um, I think just a little bit more like color, perhaps do something here or a little okay. here. Okay. Otherwise I like it. Like here, I don't know. Should I do more green or brown? Where? Um, you could do a, a little bit of light green on the top with the light and then brown underneath to kind of get more contrast. Okay. Oops. Um, yeah, I like that. I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like that. Okay. This, I think, is all. This needs to have something, too, I believe. Well, maybe it needs either. So, look, if the light is coming down on it, it needs to be light at the top and darker at the bottom. So maybe a, a light peachy orange and then red underneath. Yeah. Because remember, you're taking something totally flat and trying to make it 3D. So it's only through lights and darks that you can create um, dimension, okay. right? I just don't know how to do it. No, you're learning. That's right. I mean, you can you can practice basic, you know, um, 
I mean, I think that the black and white photos, again, if you work with the black and whites, they're going to teach you. No, that's perfect. What you just did is perfect. Like, yeah, yeah, now it looks like a flower, right? So it has yeah. petals and it has an inside core. You just have to kind of learn how to use color to make it look like a flower. To make it more. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. Now it actually looks like a flower. That's great. So okay. the one above it, what's going on with this one? Yeah. Like little cherries or something. Okay. Well, paint them a little bit more. Give them a little yeah. more definition. Because they have nothing on them. Yeah, nice. And what about the one at the top of on top right or top left? Sorry, top left. Yeah. This. No, over. Is that a flower right there? This one. Yeah. yeah. I like the red and I like the red. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I really like that. That's really nice. Okay. Oh, I love it. I think it's good. And these are brown. They haven't been painted on. Well, then, what are that? Put brown in there then. If they're like seed pods or something like that, you could put yeah, a brownie green. Oh, what a, yeah. I'm doing it red and brown. Okay. And maybe a little green under it. Yeah. Sometimes too, yeah, when you add paint, you're gonna feel like you need to balance it with more paint around it or um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm starting to get the idea. Yeah. But, yeah. Right, because otherwise you're just adding something that's like floating out there. So you need to kind of ground it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's pretty. I love that flower at the bottom. Oh, this one? Yeah, I love that whole space. Yeah, I think you should take a break from that. Okay. I think. I mean, I can't believe from what it came to. I think it's beautiful. And I think that's a really nice complimentary piece to the other one you finished today. Okay. I think it's great. Thank you for your patience with me. No, I think they're beautiful. I, I just sometimes think it's a good yeah it's a good place to just kind of put it on the wall look at it yes and you can always add more you can add another layer of wax you can add more paint and how long does it take for this um to dry probably about a week about a week wow okay mm -hmm. yeah that maybe makes three sense. maybe four days but definitely yeah, dry yeah. In a week. better not touch it before ah uh, yeah don't touch it I mean, it's fine. You can touch. I mean, touch it. Okay. So, so I did put these. Yeah, I like it. I mean, but I feel it needs. The thing for me with like a stencil like that is what what is it? What is it you're trying to say? Like what what does that mean? Like so, is it like the flowers are disintegrating? No, into... it was more the bubbly water because this was okay. also in ice. So I just overdid the bubbles. Okay, so I think that the bubbles have to come apart. Like they're so concentrated on the bottom. Uh -huh. I think that they have to like, they have to start either, yeah, they have to sort of come apart so that there's bubbles. So what you could do is you could actually just melt some white wax and do drips. So that, because right now they're in such a solid form Okay. So you could drip some at the bottom of the flowers so that they become a little bit more irregular. So, so just poke it out. on top. Just drops, just like one. So I'm going to pretend with this. So this is white wax. Uh huh. I just go like this. 
Yeah, actually, if you put put the brush in the wax and hold it up, it'll droplet will fall off and it'll but fall it's not white in the white. Yeah, the droplet will fall off onto the panel. Oh, I thought you wanted this to be white on the just wax. And yeah, wax. Oh. White wax, like droplets. I feel like you have to break up that line. Like the line of the stencil doesn't make sense to me. Just so, so I, I understand. So I should melt some white wax uh -huh, white and, and mix it with the medium with the wax medium yeah white encaustic paint and the and the medium yeah here we go <laughs> so i should mix it with the wax No, yeah, don't do it on an angle, flat. Put the panel flat on the ground. Put the, or on the, yeah. Do a droplet like this, like like a drop of rain, like boop. Yeah. It's Give not them. dropping. Right, you need more wax medium, you need more paint probably. Like a splatter? Yeah, you could splatter it. Sure, you could splatter it. That might be fun. Is it come, nothing coming off? Because it's not dripping. You know, that brush might be too small or you might not have enough wax. Maybe this. You're gonna to have to master the drip. Is it coming off? Yeah. Oh, good. It's dripping now. Okay. okay, good. So it's yeah, just more, just a bit, more at the middle of the panel. More from the bottom, at the bottom of the flowers. No, higher, the middle of the- Oh, paper. bottom of the flowers, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just want that. I want it to look like the bubbles are sort of just randomly going up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's just a little bit more, uh, yeah, good, great, more free, right? So there's wallflower, wildflower, right? So you want it, don't want it to be too cookie cutter because that doesn't yeah. really, I don't think that that fits the wax. Stuff. That doesn't go with what we're doing. Yeah, I think. one more yeah, little... no i like it right i like it no it's good that's plenty okay and then what i would do is i would either make that those i would so you have this background up here behind the flowers this yeah that so i do you have wax on there yeah and what's that green stripe did you add that with the wax no it's just a stem of a flower oh okay i got you okay so i would do something at the top, even just make a like a light beigey off. I would wax it. That looks so much better though than just those stencils. Broke the, yes. Yeah, it looks so much better. So yeah. if there's wax on the top part, that's fine. But I would add a little bit more wax coming down from the top in like a peachy beigey color. Yeah. And go over the screen. I would. I would just brush it down. Okay. And so I need to mix white and pink, right? Yeah, or yeah, or white and brown pink, or white and um, Okay. 
And a little brown. White. Medium. So now Yep, maybe a little bit whiter. Yeah, it became too pink. Too pink. And maybe a little browner, like a little bit more tan, less pink. I'm surprised how well you could see from. I can see fine. I feel like I'm there. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's nice. Now, is there already wax on the flowers? Everywhere. Okay, so you could use a wax medium and there's something about the flowers I think should be more three-dimensional. So maybe the centers of the flowers, just use the brush and kind of, do you have a nice yellow? Yeah, I have a lot of yellows. Okay, Okay, melt some yellow, put some yellow right in the center of those flowers and just like scrunch up your brush and make like a fun texture. That yellow will dominate that brush, don't worry about it. Oh. Sometimes, sometimes when colors are so, so strong, they're just gonna take over. Okay, so just go. Right in the center, yeah. Dab, dab, dab. Yep. Oh, I need more. Yep, that's nice. Good. Yep. And then, oh, yep. And then maybe use the medium just the wax medium and get rid of the yellow and maybe just build up the flowers a little bit. So just like. Get rid of the yellow, meaning just. In the brush, roll. no, in the brush. And you're also yeah. need to, gonna need to fuse. So why don't you take a break and fuse it? Cause you've been painting for a little while. Remember we're supposed to fuse it. Yes. I was wondering about that too, yeah. No, we were just forgetting. It's okay. Okay. Okay, so now what I would do is I would use wax medium just to build the shape of the flower petals and then paint them with pigment sticks. So just go over, not straight. No, I would do like flower, I would do flower petals with the brush. Okay. And then the only other thing is that upper left corner, you're gonna have to do something there because it's the only, yeah, it's, you're gonna have to do something dark. So. Let's do the flower petals first, and then you're gonna to have to add a dark wax color. And then you can paint it with the pigment sticks. Ooh, my brush was dirty. That's okay, don't worry about it because you're gonna put pink, you're gonna paint, you're gonna put pigment stick over it. So right now you're just going for texture. Yep, nice. Yep, okay. 
All right, good. So then what, what colors do you have for very dark colors? Like, do you have a dark brown in um, that caustic paint? I have all these browns, yeah. Okay, so make pick a nice brown that you like and make some dark brown. And I'm doing that for... The upper left-hand corner and there. Yeah, you're going to brush it in there. And I would brush it not... Um, I would brush it across. So horizontally, not for, not up okay. and down. Yeah, beautiful. And again, this is just very painterly. Yeah, whatever. Yep. And, and then how about here yeah, too? A little, yep, a little bit over there. Yep. Also horizontal. I would do it horizontally towards you. Yep, nice. Really good. Yep. Okay. So I should use the and that corner. Did you do the other corner? Did you do that? Yeah. You did? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Do you use that? This is really bad. Should I do more? Um I don't know what I was doing. No, fuse it and scrape it back. I think it looks okay. Um, so yeah, give it a little. Some of the lines need to. Right. So now, when you're scraping, you're just kind of you're scraping just to see what's going to happen. You know what what's going to happen, right? Yeah, kind of. Right. So just scrape gently. You don't know. You're not know exactly. Let me turn this off. Okay. Okay, so I think that looks actually pretty darn good. Yeah, and these lines, they look like brush lines. Yeah, they're beautiful. I love the splatters. I actually really like this piece. So we need to paint it a little bit with the pigment sticks, but I would scrape it a little bit overall. We have about five more minutes. So why don't we just like scrape it and then next time we scrape can- Scrape the peach on top. I would scrape everything gently. Oh. I would. I, I mean, I just I use the razor blade and I just scrape everything gently or the pottery tool. I have the pottery tool. It's amazing how quickly it becomes a big mess. I know. Well, we're almost done, and then you can clean up. I know you put, but oh, you did really yeah, great day. I mean. Clean. You did great today. You've technically fit, like nearly finished. You Thank you. Maybe yeah, finished really, one. That was really good. Everything we did. Thank you. It's not a lot comes out. Maybe I should do. Well, you can scrape it the other direction too. Switch to art. And you scrape it so you could kind of see what's happening. Well, especially at the top, like there's not that much going. You just want to see if you get any, you can soften some of those lines. It feels pretty close. You feel like you have enough wax on there. If you feel like it's too, too skinny, you can add more wax. Yeah. You like, do you think it has texture? I mean, I think it looks good. No, I think you fixed that brown part. It looks nice now. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think you should leave it for now. I think it's really pretty. It's very it abstract. Like, um, the pink. 
the chin, do you think, on the pedals? Yeah. Do you want to do that today or do you want to wait? Oh, whatever. You have to think about it. I think you have to think about this one for a second. What are you going to leave the bottom all white? What are you going to do about the bottom? I think I'll just make it less white. Okay, so you're gonna bring what color with what color? You wanna make it green? I mean it um not green, you think green? what about brown? What about if your accent color is brown? Brown and white. Oh. Which would kind of be like it would basically look like bait cream colored or coffee colored. Because they used to be white. I put like peach on it. Well, you want to go, you want to stay in the, well, you have so much pink and yellow at the top. Do you there want it? Is, to be, yeah. Right. So do you want it to be mono? I think you should think about it. I don't think you should paint it today. I think you've worked really hard. We've got about four more minutes. Um, okay. I think should you I go into the blue and white or is it too different? I think, I think you, I think blue and pink are nice. I do blue and pink a lot, but sometimes I just get like. It's tired. too much. No, I don't know. I like it. I mean, but you have a nice peachy orangey color. I mean, if anything, I'd probably think it, I don't know. Yeah, I get that. Maybe like something like this happening here. I think you could start with the brown. I mean, all of those bubbles. I mean, I think when you think about water, if you're thinking about water, you're going to think about something blue. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, you could put the a really like pale. You could also do like a bluey green, like um, an aqua or a uh -huh. blue, like a sea blue green instead of so blue because blue is so cold. Like this, maybe. Yeah, I can't see that. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, you could try it. Yeah. I mean, the worst case scenario is that we don't like it and you have to wipe it off or yeah. paint over it. Okay. Um, but I would think about color combos. I would kind of, you could, you know, you can do little tests. You can do color tests where you take like a little piece of paper, put wax on it and put pink and that sea green together. Like that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a lot of little See what colors you like together. Yeah. yeah, what color combos that you like together. Okay, well. Okay. This was great. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. So wait, I see you again. Uh, I think I see you again next Wednesday, the 23rd, right? I think yes. Okay, because so I, I know I had an appointment to get an MRI. <laughs> but I was like, I don't want to miss my... <laughs> Ah, oh, you canceled your MRI. Good. I canceled. <laughs> Good. Good. Good for you. You can put that off for another day. Yeah. I, did. I canceled my root canal. I didn't want to go to the dentist. I mean, sometimes oh. you have to be in the mood to deal with that shit. I did oh. not. I know. I, I hear well, it's you. It's just that I had my back went out over the weekend and oh, I never no. had such pain. Oh, I'm sorry. It was so bad. And my knee and my back and my hip. And I was oh. like, Oh boy, am I gonna end up having a surgery? Oh shoot. All right, is that what you that's what you need the MRI for? Yeah. Oh, I to hope see not. what's happening, but yeah. Um getting old is not fun. No, I'm not I'm not looking forward to it. Definitely not looking forward to it. I know. Enjoy the health and your strength. Yep. Otherwise, I'm gonna be looking forward to a lot of collaging. <laughs> A lot of a lot of I mean, a lot of reading. I never. I mean, it's reading. amazing everything you do. It just speaks to my soul. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, I'm really having. Thank fun. you. I'm really having fun with the new collages, and I yeah. love what you're doing. You did great. You did really did great today. So pat yourself on the back. I'm sorry we had a, a difficult couple of weeks, but and I hope you feel better. Yeah, thank you so much. You I need will. a good massage. You need a good massage. I, I, I'm already better, so it's going to be good. Okay. Well, you have a good weekend and a nice I will. week. Thank you. It got really, I'm so dark. It's so dark in here. I will see you. That was great today. I will see you okay. next Wednesday. Great. Enjoy your pieces. Hang them up somewhere where you can enjoy them. Yeah, I've been putting it on the sidewall here. Okay, good. All right. And think about your color for the bottom. I'm thinking I will. 
We I agree. Will. Thank you okay. so much. All right. I'll bye send you the recording. Okay. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Take care. All right. Good okay, job. Okay. You too.